Okay, I just want to respond to that article. Uh, two responses, one the statement and then the article itself. So I couldn't help but kind of laugh at that article for a number of reasons. I think it was uh, funny that they talked about math and then focused so much on social justice. That being said, in my experience going through UBC, I did feel like so much time was spent on important things. Um, this is gender politics, such as um, equality, equity, uh, racial divide, white privilege, all those things that I didn't actually learn a lot of the skills that I wish I had learned as a teacher. Um, so there does need to be a bit of a mix, so I can kind of see her from that angle. On the flip side, I don't know what she's talking about when it comes to teachers not being able to teach math. Um, also, the amount of time spent in class working on math, maybe numerous or literacy has taken the forefront over numeracy possibly and that'd be that but I don't see people spending too much time discussing Western um, Western uh, male dominated workplaces affecting the emancipation of women over times tables I don't think that's really a reality um, the other part so you know the article had some points Overall, it was kind of funny, but I did kind of agree with her when it came to universities. Sorry, Queens. Um, the other one, uh, can we build confidence in the way we teach 100%? We just need to build that into our program, into what we do, into our pedagogy. And it's not something I think about. How do I build confidence in my students' mathematical abilities? I don't think that going into there. So it's definitely something that could benefit me that I probably should bring into my um, teaching. All right, those are my quick thoughts on those. Thanks.